Hello, and welcome to Literacy Volunteers of Greater Portland's new tutor training. Literacy Volunteers is a Learning Works program. There are some things you should know about this training before you get started. It's broken into seven parts, and each part is, helped, is designed to help you accomplish three primary goals. The first is to help you to gain an understanding of the lives of adult English language learners. The second is to help you cultivate an educational lens by which to evaluate your students' needs. And lastly, to aid you in planning for and to help your student set obtainable and measurable goals. At the end of each uh, presentation, you'll be asked to do a couple of activities to demonstrate understanding. Some of these may be responding to a writing prompt, doing an assessment online, or skimming through an article. One of the things we wanted to do in this welcome presentation is to give you an understanding of the history of um, Literacy Volunteers. Literacy Volunteers was founded in 1963 in Buffalo, New York by a woman named Ruth Johnson Colvin. She noticed that there were people in her community who could not read, and she launched an effort which was joined by many, which eventually resulted in there being literacy volunteer programs in virtually every state. In 1973, Literacy Volunteers of Greater Portland opened its doors and was a standalone organization until 2009 when it merged with Learning Works. This merge was crucial to the program's existence because it allowed it to uh, continue to thrive and, and be stable during a climate where um, funding for small not-for-profit ventures was shrinking. Here is Ruth at 100, still going strong, still very much involved in literacy, only, only now her efforts expand all around the world. In the early days of the program, our students were primarily native English speakers who had some degree of illiteracy, but over time, as there have been shifts in nations around the world, our population in the greater Portland area has changed to include many more people from uh, different parts of the world, and our student body has changed consequently. Um, Right now, our average student is from an African nation, although about 7% of our students are from the Middle East, and 8% are from South America. The rest represent um, a smattering of countries from Europe to um, countries in Asia. The average age of our student is 39, and the male-to-female ratio hovers around 60% male to 40% female. Uh, it's important to note that these demographics do change because each day students enroll in our program and each enrollment changes um, our student population, our student body, just a little bit. We serve roughly 150 students each year, although in fiscal year 2017, we served 242. Here's another visual aid to help you understand where our students come from. The groups with the strongest representation in Maine are from Somalia, South Sudan, Burundi, Rwanda, Congo, which is not to be confused with the Democratic Republic of Congo, Angola, Djibouti, Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan. In the first module, you will learn about the lives of new Mainers and what issues may be factors in the tutoring relationship. You will learn about cultural paradigms, gain insights into our own American culture, and understand the lives of immigrants as they strive to plant roots in the United States.